My husband was actually the person very interested in farming. And um, we farmed for close on to probably 15, almost 20 years. And then unfortunately, he got lung cancer and passed away. And of course, it gave me a lot of food for thought. I had to think now whether I give up the farm or not. And with two of my children still not in, haven't sort of completed the education, I decided to carry on. It wasn't easy, but of course with all the interests and of course sort of keeping my husband's sort of uh, interest at heart, I carried on and it has sustained me and educated my children and been very enjoyable. It's a big, big change with all the um, introduction of all the different like herbicides and insecticides. It's made farming much, much easier. Of course, newer products are always very welcome because they're more effective. Because like there's one that we used recently, we had a lot of broadleaf uh, um, weed in the in the in the soil, and it was amazing how once applied, it just burnt off the broadleaf and the soil was left. And we've, even people who came to visit us thought that our soil was something was wrong. I mean, they didn't realize it's the weed that's actually being being sorted out here. Crop protection has very positively affected my family because it has not only increased the profitability, but it also helped us to um, stave off prop, uh, yeah, pests and uh, certain diseases, which could actually reduce the outcome or the output of the crop significantly, which would actually cause a loss in the long run. About six weeks ago, we had a very bad infestation of caterpillars in our soybean crop and it basically affected all 40 hectares of the soybeans. Within spraying, the infestation was completely gone within five days. And now you can basically see that there's no more damage visible within the crop. If the crop had failed as a result of the caterpillar infestation, the direct socio-economic impact probably would have been loss of jobs to probably at least half of my working staff because we wouldn't have been able to keep them on. We usually use treated seeds from, this is from Zambia Seed Company. Most of it is from Zambia Seed Company. Uh, it's been treated for weevils and things like that because we have a big problem with that here. We don't use farm seed because the viability of farm seed is not as high as that that you would receive from a certified seed company. I think using farm seeds is, there's a higher risk factor, personally, that's what I find, because anything can go wrong. Whereas if you use certified seed and certified products, you have a lot more security. On our farm, we started uh, zero um, minimum tillage. We, we found it's much more profitable because it's less time on the, on, on the tractor and less um, sort of man hours and labor. And uh, the crops seem to do better as well. We try and uh, yeah, till the land as little as possible. So even like now during the rainy season, there's, uh, the, the size of the, the rain droplets doesn't damage the, the soil as much as it would when you completely rip it up to say 20, 40 centimeters down. The surface runoff is a lot less and the actual leaching of the soil is considerably less. I think uh, we're able to achieve minimal tillage because of the chemicals that are available now.